Hey guys, Denny Lee here. So, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking and, uh, I need to let it go. I need to just be done, be over it. And, uh, I was thinking about something my uncle said to me a long, long time ago. And, uh, it's been in movies and stuff like that now, but my uncle said it to me before I ever saw it in a movie. And, uh, I know you guys are going to think that it's, what was that movie? Um, He's just not that into you, which I mean, it still applies, whatever. Cause they said it in that movie too. And my uncle said it to me first. I, my uncle told me before I saw it in that movie. And he said, if a guy wants to be with you, he will make it happen. He will make it happen. And uh, I mean, how much can Heisenberg really want to be with me? He's not making it happen. I can't even get a message, right? Like not even a hello, a something, whatever. And uh, I always make excuses. I make all these excuses and um mostly in my head because I haven't been telling anybody but you guys what's been going on and uh I need to stop doing that and I don't know part of me thought because like we had had conversations and we used to talk all the time and he knows about my trust issues and whatnot and uh he knows about douche bear and how douche bear ghosted me and so I thought he'd never do that to me because he said he wouldn't and I believed him apparently because I'm a fucking moron but I believed him when he said he wouldn't do that to me and here I am sitting here and I won't say I'm waiting for a message but I'm hoping for a message like I go through my days I do everything I'm supposed to do I'm even on the dating site again but in the back of my mind sometimes in the front of my mind when I can't push it quite back there I'm hoping for a message and um I'm not getting one so I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna try really, really hard to let it go. Um, but yeah, it's been difficult. And uh, I know I keep looking down. I am a little sad. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm not sad. But also part of that is that I've been fidgeting with my rings. So I'm wearing four rings. I don't know if you see, there's two right here. And then there's the one over here. Um, and I fidget with these rings a lot, actually. Uh, the two that I fidget with, they are Yes, they are my newest rings and I love them. And they're skulls and then there's some black stones and whatever. I don't know if you can see the skulls, they're pretty tiny. And one of them actually, hold on. I don't even know if you guys care about this ring, but I really like it and it's got like a skull on the front of it. So that's probably not clear, but it's there. Um, putting my other ring back on now cause I wear them both together. So. Yeah, I'm a little sad, but I do need to let it go and I need to move on and stop making all these excuses and just be okay with the fact that I got ghosted again and that it's not going to happen. So move on, move on. I do hate getting ghosted. Guys, I've told you this before when I told you the whole backstory about my ex and everything that I absolutely hate being ghosted. At least have the fucking balls to tell me that you don't wanna to talk to me anymore like fortify which is what I say instead of man up fortify <laughs> tell me that you don't want to talk to me I'm a big girl and I take that way better than being ghosted if you tell me you don't want to talk to me I move on with my life like right away I respect your decision but when you ghost me kind of it, it hurts my feelings a lot and then it pisses me off so but it is what it is um so yeah guys ghosted again eh. Um, so like I said, I have the dating site back up. I just, I haven't even been on it actually. So I don't even know if I have messages cause I didn't look cause I've gotten so used to not looking. So I haven't even checked it. I should probably do that. I also have to, did I tell you guys I'm learning Latin? So on Duolingo, I'm taking the Latin course. So yeah, I really got to do that before I go to bed and I got to prep for lunch and I'm going on another tour tomorrow of where I work cause I went on a partial tour of some of it. Um, the first tour, there were a bunch of us in different areas, so they gave us a tour of, like, a general area so we can see, like, what happens, I guess, in when all the departments work together. We get to see, like, what goes on and exactly how it affects the business as a whole. And now I've been in my department for a while, and so now I'm going on a tour of one of the other departments to see one of the smaller sides of things instead of seeing just the big picture and where I work. So that should be fun. Um, 
And then also, oh my gosh, guys. So the reason that I'm going on this tour tomorrow is because they decided that I could go to nights early because I have been doing so well. My training has been so well and I've been doing so great that I get to go to nights before December. So tomorrow is my last day on days. And then I get to get off this daywalker schedule and get back to the nights where I'm comfortable and where I wanna be. Um, one day, I'm sure I will make it back to days. Today is not that day. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. <laughs> anyway, I gotta do my Latin lesson and then I gotta prep for bed and get ready for this tour in the morning because it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> and, uh, oh, my boss said something about maybe like a small office party to celebrate me being moved to nights. So if we do that, that would be awesome too. I'm looking forward to see if he actually does something because that would be amazing. Look at this happiness right here. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. I got things to do, but um, I hope everybody has a wonderful night and I will keep you updated when I finally start checking the dating site if anything starts happening. And I'll keep you updated on other things with my life because I gotta say, like when I started this, it wasn't just supposed to be about the dates and the guy. Maybe it was supposed to be about the dates and the guys. You know, I started this so long ago, I don't even remember. But I do like talking about other things and that's why there's like videos about my old job in Nebraska and stuff like that. And then the face mask with red, which was awesome. And then, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna try and do more videos about my life and not just the dating. And I've had an uptake on videos with all this free time, like, so. Um, at the last job, I was doing 12 hour overnights and you guys know I was working like, I don't know, 52 to 72 hours a week. But at this one, I'm only scheduled 40 hours a week. So it's eight hour shifts, five days a week. And let me tell you, I'm so excited. Like I watched a movie tonight, guys, like an actual movie. I watched the whole thing. That's exciting. All right. So anyway, I'm sorry. I said I was going to let you guys go. And then I kept talking. That's just me. Ask my mom. She'll tell you because I do that to her on the phone all the time. You guys have a good night, and this has been a true story.